was, I played the man, though I was but nineteen. I led our forces through the night that this land would be free. I foiled the Yank invaders and I helped put them to rout. So let no man forget the name of Billy Green, the scout. That was a great song. Uh, Stan Rogers, uh, who, as I said, was a, uh, a local singer-songwriter, uh, tragically died much too young, but he was a Salt Fleet student. Was he there when you were there? No, I think I was gone by the time he got there. He was a few, he's a few years younger than I was. Okay, so, so you had already graduated, uh, but certainly a Stony Creek uh, individual and uh, penned uh, and, and sang that song that lives on to this day, and as I say, was on is on your website, the Billy Green website yeah. on Facebook, um, and so the gist of of the story, the Billy Green story and his heroism, uh, is that he was given a password. Well, why don't you tell the story very quickly? Well, like even that song had quite a bit of uh, truth in it. You know, there was a f couple things that might have been stretched a bit as to the desk, but he was um, he went looking for his brother Isaac brother-in-law Isaac who was head Isaac Corman Isaac Corman I'm also sorry. a prominent name in Stony that's Creek that's right and he uh, met Isaac down by the corner of, they call it Davis's Corners but it was basically Barton Street and Lake Avenue but of course Barton Street wasn't there then and Isaac gave him the password Billy crept westwards up past through where the cemetery is. Because the, the context sorry Doug but the yeah. context here is that there was a war right, right. The, 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 the war of 1812 1814 uh, and the two sides of course were the Americans uh, that were making incursions into this neck of the woods uh, against the British and the British uh, were supported by um, the, some Indian tribes as well uh, and really it was a battle to see who would have supremacy over this land and it was a defining battle as well that uh, determined really whether we would be Americans or what later became known as Canadians, right? Correct. So uh, Billy Green uh, met Isaac Corman, who was arrested by the Americans, Correct. detained by them at least, uh, and he went to see him and carry on. And Billy snuck back up through th where the cemetery is. He went to his brother Levi's house, which was on where the old Teach and Bay Railway Station was because they had a sawmill on Stony Creek. And he took his horse, went up the mountain, and rode out to Burlington and gave the information to General Harvey. Right, or, or and, and so uh, Billy Green was given a password right. by Isaac Corman, and it was a password that allowed you, if you said it, to get through the American checkpoints. That's correct. Unobstructed, uh, because if you had the password, you were friendly to them. Uh, and what was that password? Will Hen Hare. Will Hen Hare which is short for? William Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison, and who was he? Well, he later, he was one of the generals, but he later became a president of the United States, too. Right, so uh, the password that the Americans used was a general in their army who later became a prominent politician and a president of the United States. So Billy had this password given to him by his brother-in-law. What did he do with the password? Well, he took this and went and <coughs> gave it to Colonel, I guess he was probably Colonel Harvey at the time, so that when they uh, they decided they would make a night attack, well, they needed somewhere to get past the sentries. You know, they needed a way to. And these were the British, General. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Right, the the, 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 the General Harvey was uh, uh, the leader of the British troops, and given the password, they're able to march through and attack the enemy That's at right. the time. Yeah. So in fact, uh, Billy Green was. Uh, nominated, even though he was 19 years old, he was the guide for this troop.